2023. Ooh. The two times I wrote that down today, I actually wrote the right date. Sci-fi <laughs> time. <laughs> well, welcome. I believe we've got one other member coming, but while you're, we're not waiting, but we'll get going. Um, this is the Lincoln Bill for the benefit of anybody watching at home. This is the Lincoln Bill Budget Committee. Meeting of January 3rd, 2023. And since at least one of you is new to the committee, maybe we go around and inter each introduce yourselves. So Slowly everybody. enough for me to type your name. Slowly enough for Robin to type your name. And that puts you in the oh. Okay, I'm the newbie. <laughs> Lida, L E D A, I have to spell it always. Stoutenberg, S T O U T E N. B U R G. Awesome. I'm Lori Knight. And you're Eleanor. Mm -hmm. I am Gerald Knight. G. Yes. G E R A F D. Yes. <coughs> Robin Tarantino. And I'm Ed O'Brien. And I'm John Williams, and neighbor with Lita. He's the one that got me in the business. And I'm Emily Flaherty, F-L-A-H-E-R-T-Y. And I'm new too, so you know that. Oh, great. <laughs> Welcome, newbies. So right now, absent. And Dorothy Lanfier. Oh, I did this wrong. Wait a minute. I just started. Uh, driving in. Budget committee, but you've been on a number of other. Were, were you on the budget committee previously? I was not. I was uh, Board of Appeals. We haven't called the meeting to order yet. Right? No. Uh, check out the order. Yes, I just did. Well, oh. because the next bit of business for the budget committee um, would be to select their own chair to run these meetings, and then vice chair, and then secretary. So I guess um, you were gone because I saw our headlight. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, but I think it's my turn. But I would <laughs> open the floor for her nominations for the position of chair. I nominate Ed O'Brien. Second. I'll start with the second. <coughs> Any other nominations for the position of chair? Hearing only crickets. Um, all those in favor of O'Brien is chair of the budget committee for fiscal year, whatever we're in. Please raise your hand. Say aye or aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? I would say, Mr. O'Brien, congratulations on your election. Mm -hmm. Would you like to run? <laughs> would you like to run the vice chair? Uh, yes. Sorry, come in. We're waiting for just for you. It's your fault. It always is. <laughs> I was actually on a, I I wanted to nominate Ms. Lanfear for vice chair, Ooh. as she has been here before. I will second. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh. I have to wait a few minutes. Thank you. Is it all right if I sit here, Davis? It's all right with me. Jeez, oh, Donnie. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't step up or I'm the wrong foot. I work for you, Donnie. You work for me. Um, all in favor? <laughs> Any opposed? Nah. Um, and I think we need a nominee for secretary. I nominate Robin Tarantino. All second. All right. Something different. All in favor? <laughs> Any opposition? Nope. Perfect. All right. So we got through Article One. Should we just move on to Article Two here? A little explanation, maybe. Well, I'll give you an explanation. Everyone has a draft town meeting warrant in front of your <coughs> spot. If you don't, we have others. Um, the okay. board of selectmen yeah. have decided to call a special town meeting to consider four articles, or have the voters consider four articles. Uh, the meeting will be held a week from Thursday, which is January twelfth, six p.m. right here in this room. 
any and all registered voters of the town are welcome, or any public that wants to come is welcome too. What's, what's this room called? Sorry. The meeting room. Um, we have four articles, or the Board of Selectmen have four articles that they're wishing to put forward to the voters. The first is select a moderator, which we have to do at every town meeting, somebody to run the actual meeting. That does not require a recommendation from either the Select Board or the Budget Committee. Article two uh, is for the benefit of anybody that might be watching at home is to see if the town will vote to appropriate $6,500 in coronavirus local fiscal recovery funds AKA American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA funds, received by the town from the federal government for the purpose of repairing the mechanical systems in parenthesis plumbing and heating on parenthesis at the town office. The select board recommends approval of article two and I will give you a brief explanation and then I'll give you a chance to ask any questions you may wish. Um, so back in the September time frame, uh, we sprung a leak in the plumbing system in the basement. And that um, was part of the old system that existed with the old building that never got replaced or <coughs> changed out when we did the expansion and renovation to the old building because we thought we could save ourselves some money at the time. And we did. Fortunately, the leak was very small, uh, but leak nonetheless which we have had repaired. After that repair was done um, we looked extensively at our plumbing and heating systems in the building to see if we were might be faced with some other disaster that would come up at a not that there's a good time to have a leak but might show up at an even worse time to have a leak. Um, lo and behold we have several issues, um, one of which is, or two of which are in the plumbing system and one's on the heating side. Um, we ended up after looking and seeing some, points. Uh, we ended up, after we saw that and saw what we'll show you next for the heating side, um, said, hmm, that's kind of an odd situation. And we had a uh, Steve, I can't think of his last name, from Gartley and Dorsky came and looked and said, what you've got is a situation with your water and dissimilar metals. Mm -hmm. um, if you could but this, this is copper, this is not, this is a hot water tank, and in between the two um, is having some sort of reaction, and he said, you should replace this really soon before it decides to let go. It does have a pan underneath it, which drains down into a drain, but you can imagine what would happen if the hot water tank let go on a Friday afternoon and we came back on a Monday morning. Um, probably wouldn't be good. Uh, in addition to that, um, the other thing is on the heating side. said, you should have that replaced as soon as possible. Uh, so in between those two items and our water filter system that has been here longer than I have, and I've been here almost 20 years now, oh my goodness, um, they said we should replace the three um, things, this on heating, 
the plumbing, the hot water tank, and the filter. And lo and behold, we got that priced out, and we're somewhere between six and sixty-five hundred dollars. So we rounded that up to sixty-five to have a little contingency <coughs> in there. And the selectmen have proposed that we uh, utilize some of the uh, coronavirus monies that we receive from the t from the federal government for this purpose because we have money in hand. The other option was perhaps take uh, use some excise tax money that projections look like we're going to hit or exceed our target, but it's a projection versus money in hand. So that's where we are. Okay. Happy to answer some questions. I see John's got some questions. Yeah. Um, so how much total money do you have in hand? Like what fraction of all that are these articles? I was going to ask the same thing. Okay. Yeah. So we anticipate um, receiving $235,373.90 in American Rescue Plan Act monies. The voters this past June appropriated $117,550 to replace lot, to utilize as lost revenue um, to, in essence, lower the property tax burden for the current year we were in. They, that leaves us $117,823.90, of which, if you add these up, you've got $8,000, $9,000, are being proposed to be utilized. Mm -hmm. So we'd have a little over $100,000 remaining in those funds. Yeah. Are there restrictions to what you can use those on? There are more strings and whatever <laughs> else to that money than you can imagine and paperwork to go with it. I bet. Um, at, although I say that, um, I will say when it first came out, it was uh, not going to be onerous, but there were more restrictions. And then there was a recognition that there are a lot of towns across the country, similar to Lincolnville and smaller, that um, the strings were say they were too much for somebody to do, but they weren't all that easy. And they, in between when the interim rules came out and the final rules were actually adopted, they actually made it easier for towns like Lincolnville to comply with the rules. Much to my shock and amazement. So just to be clear, especially for people at home that aren't, doesn't see everything here, this has to get done. It's just basically where we're going to bring the money from, whether we're going to use the American Rescue um, Plan yeah. or whether the burden is going to fall back on the in, taxpayers. The in family. my opinion, uh, well, I don't, get an, I don't get an opinion, but at least for Article 2, um, it would be very mm, short-sighted and perhaps foolish not to repair our plumbing and our heating systems here in the town office. So in answer to your question, yes. And I'm assuming we cost a lot more for those to let go on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We would then be faced with not only the repair, but we'd be replaced with whatever damage that so made. During a massive cold spell, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what would happen. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. John. Oh, yeah, just curious about that hot water heater and, and what's proposed to stop the metals oh. reacting. Yes. Yeah. Um, there is, let me go back to that. It's like a zinc and a copper type yeah. of thing. Yeah, it's yeah. A something and a something. It's definitely a <laughs> copper, and if I looked at the little report, I'd tell you. There is a, hopefully I printed it off, I think I did. The recommendation was for a, well, I printed it off, but I just didn't bring it down. I have. Oh, right there. What's it called? Hot water tank with a special dielectric galvanized steel nipple on both the hot and the cold water connections. As I was huh. told that it's something that separates the two. Yeah. I won't call it plastic or rubber because I don't remember what he told us it was, but there's something so that 
what you see as a reaction um, doesn't occur. Yeah. The other thing that we've uh, discovered when we did the water analysis was that our water is acidic here. Do wow. you know now, the pH? I is do. 6.3. Okay. Um, which, or it was back in November or whatever day they took the test, um, which potentially contributes some to that as well. So is the cost to replace that whole thing or just add the little part? Uh, we are going to replace the hot water tank and everything back to oh, the copper, the copper and that mess up there. That's my understanding. Pretty much probably not break it, cut it or disconnect it. And mm -hmm. Did you it email there. me the uh, photos so I could attach them to I the can. <laughs> And these funds haven't been assigned to something else that we're pulling the, the funds from. It's literally open to use money. It is available for this purpose. We have not assigned it for something else. We're not robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah. Is there a time frame on when those funds need to be used by? Yes. Do you want to know what that is? I'm curious. <laughs> I believe it is the end of the calendar year 2025. Okay, so we have some wiggle room to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I don't even know if they have to be used by that date, but they have to be allocated. Allocated, maybe the word, or designated for that. Yeah. Somehow, um, they don't want you just you know put it in the in the bank. They want you to spend it wisely. Other questions on this? We think if you just go over the articles and we vote at the end. You can do whatever pleases yes. you. Is. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Can I ask a question? You said that we're replacing the tank and the pipes back to the... Uh, for my, I'm not a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we're going to go back to the point where we don't have weakness or it's corrosion or... Right. Good luck typing that into an explanation. Yeah. Back to where the yeah, we black, back to where the plumber and the engineer said we, we were supposed no to replace it. There you go. You'll see. Them. For more information, contact those people. Yeah. Right. And the, the other the thing we did is we went to look to make sure that um, back when because th this was new when the addition was done on this building, we went back to make sure that the town actually got what we were supposed to. Eight, I believe. Time flies. When you're yes. time flies. <laughs> Any other questions on Article Two, or shall I move to the next? We can always come back. By the way, oh, if yeah. something comes to your mind. Uh, article Three is to see if the town will vote to appropriate twenty-five hundred dollars in coronavirus local sure. fiscal recovery funds, aka American Rescue Plan ARPA funds received by the town from the federal government for the purpose of repairing the recreation floats for use at Breezemere Park. As you know, we have, or may not know, we have five floats at Breezemere Park. And can I ask you a question? You can. Since Breezemere I'm new to the area, I have no idea where Breezemere Park is. Um, as you head back Route 173, like going toward the fire station or Drake Corner store or that uh -huh. way, Park is that one that's on the one that has a bandstand? Right okay. At, okay. I didn't know what it was called. I've, I've been there. Okay. So we took the floats out this fall. We take them out every fall, and the top seemed a little spongy when we were walking on it, and so we took some of the deck okay. off and the stringer right up the middle. As you can see, this is a screw that holds the deck down to air. <laughs> Screws into air don't last very well or hold very well. Um, so then that's not the only location on that float. Uh, we'd like to put the floats back in service uh, come spring uh, so that people could enjoy them in the summer. And if we wait till June to repair the floats, 
we're going to miss some of the boating season, swimming season, whatever else. It's been pretty popular down there. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, very yeah. popular yeah, there. Yeah, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. very live down there, I'm guessing, in Center yeah. Gates. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, we're going to have to do some work to get to that stringer and the other stringers that may be in similar condition. These, the deck pieces, if you can see them, they interlock together and then they're screwed down in various locations. So the decking will all have to come off and we'll have to inspect the whole shoot match to make sure it's. Jerry Stewart, sorry, he's got a question. Uh, she has her hand up, though. Right, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two questions. Yes. This could be done in the late winter, early spring. Yes. Okay, and could you use, like, uh, the boathouse, well, whatever we call it, across the street, and they could work inside and do that? Well, if winter stays the way it is currently. Mm -hmm. Well, they could do it outdoors, <laughs> but I'm trying to be thoughtful. Yes, well, we've explored. Um, I think we'll probably um, have it done in conducive weather, right, right where they sit right now, rather than incur the cost to move them across the street or down the road or any, yeah. any place else. That is my, that would be my we're, best idea, but I'm yeah, just thinking of people saying that it can't be done that way, so. Oh. No, it's, yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, well, I think there's liability. And all you work faster when it's colder, get it over with. <laughs> Do we know the last time this was repaired, or are these new floors? These were well? all new. We purchased those over a series. I'm looking at Dottie because she yeah. was on the Recreation Commission. Oh, a long time. Um, they're we, old. We did, they're not that old. Four or five years, anyway. No, there's more than five years. Yeah, there's more than five, five years because there yeah. was pre, everything with me is pre market <laughs> then. Yeah. Um, I think we purchased, except the swim float, the satellite swim float is the newest, newest. one. Um, I think we purchased these over a series of years so we weren't faced with them all mm -hmm. being replaced in expense all at once. I'm thinking these are, I'm not sure about this one. I think the oldest one we have is. So yeah. this is something, obviously, wooden water doesn't mix. I don't care if it's pressure treated or not. So this is something that obviously is going to reoccur over time. Well, it, Has um, there been any thought of an alternative material? Well, fortunately for us, these, um, the wood actually is out of the water. We have some skids on the bottom, so you can drag them if you need to. Um, they're on the encapsulated drums, the, the, the high, high depth, high depth density polyethylene um, so there isn't much wood in the water we believe hard telling as my public facilities director says hard telling not knowing um, we believe that perhaps this particular one um, may not have been the finest piece of pressure treated wood to begin with and perhaps if it had been flipped the other way we might have given us a little more service um, that's not the only location. I, I don't know if you want to see pictures of rotten wood, but um, yeah, I, I hope not. I think when we take this apart, um, well, since it's high and dry, um, <coughs> if the weather's conducive, we may put a little water seal to them as well to give okay. us a little more chance of protection. I think it's a pretty hard use too. Yeah, um, and the worst of it was, uh, also right at the end where the swim float came up and we wonder if you know people coming up the ladder drip right. drip dry right there and then it get wet dry wet dry but there's all sorts of um, ideas and no definitive answer as to why that piece of wood is but only two of them need repair well we're not sure Oh, because twenty five hundred dollars for two repairs when they're little wood seems expensive. To yes, me. well, it, clarifying. Yeah, <laughs> um, part of the expense is you have to take the whole deck off to get to the little wood, which isn't little. Um, and the other is we don't know what we're going to find when we get there. Yeah, so let's have a little extra if we need it. Well, um, I won't tell you. It's got a little cushion in there, but it's got a little cushion in there because we just don't know. You, you can look down through and it looks pretty good and feels pretty good, but I'm gonna venture a guess when we take the deck off there, we're gonna find some more, unfortunately. And 
Um, the money that's the estimate of the 2500 yep. does that include if there are pieces of the decking surface that need to be replaced? Would that yep. include that? Okay, because I know there's a few broken pieces. I've seen them. We, that has been um, a periodic issue uh, throughout their life. We actually replaced all of those at one point on one or two floats because of and at the manufacturer's expense because they were breaking and we turned them over it. And those plastic pieces have a, I don't know about a time stamp, but they've got a date stamp of when they were manufactured. And there had been a claim against the manufacturer for defects and they shipped us a pallet full of them at one point. We had to come up with the labor to do it, but anyhow. That answered my question. Okay. Are there questions on Article 3? What's Article 4? Article 4 is to see if the town will vote to appropriate an additional sum of $2,941 in coronavirus local fiscal recovery funds, AKA American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA funds, received by the town from the federal government for the purpose of resurfacing the tennis courts adjacent to the Lincolnville Central School at the town. Why does that say at the Lincolnville Central School at the town office? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You think all the eyes that have looked at this would notice that the Lincolnville Central School, period. Good thing this is going back to the board tomorrow night for their final approval. Um, in case you didn't know, the town has two tennis courts adjacent to the Lincolnville Central School that were constructed by the Rec Recreation Commission or under the auspices of the Recreation Commission. Um, those courts need to be at some point resurfaced. The town has been planning for this for three years and setting aside money for three years to do that project. Uh, in addition to that, we have a very active pickleball group here in the town, which has been after the Board of Selectmen and the Recreation Commission to uh, paint pickleball lines on the tennis courts for pickleball use so they don't have to take down courts any longer. Um, the selectmen saw fit to raise that money over a period of three years and three years have gone by. We went out to get quotes to re do the resurfacing. The quotes came in more money than we'd saved for. Hmm. And so now well, the question is, do we say, try to save some more money and then miss the season and then find out next year at this time we don't have enough money and then, you know. As it continues to deteriorate. Right. Yeah. right. So the board of, or select board decided that we have a quote from a reputable, we actually have several quotes from reputable contractors. The um, company that gave us the low quote and it's reputable, um, select board said, well, if we have the money, we'll do it. And so we're $2,941 short. What's the total cost of the project? Um, I think if you, I think $17,941. Oh, but they've been we've raised diligently trying. $15,000. <laughs> and they've got 15 of them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Any questions on that? You guys ready to, to vote on these articles? One question that encompasses all of them. Let's say we missed a mark on one and it's more expensive than we're going to budget. What's the plan on that? Uh, <laughs> uh, the, as you as you know, the board of selectmen annually make a request for a contingency, and there was some discussion at one point about utilizing contingency for any or all of these items. Um, at one point, we had an Article Five, which didn't make the final cut at the last selectmen's meeting, which was a third, roughly thirty thousand dollar appropriation that the selectmen thought wasn't. Um, to move forward with at this moment, so that got cut. Um, what was what was that? Just that was an electric vehicle charging station to be located at Lincolnville Beach. Uh, those were level two charger. Two network level two chargers. Way too expensive. Yeah. Anyhow, that 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 that's not on the agenda. Um, 
and the other conversation had centered around, well, we've got $11,000 worth of work, and we only have well, 10,000 less a little bit than we've expended this year. We don't have enough to do all three, and we don't, we're only six months at that point, only five months through the year. What happens if something else comes up between now and June? Do we have another special town meeting? We're going to have one. Let's just ask for, for everything. And um, once again, if any of this money does, if we appropriate this money and we don't use it all, at, once the project's completed, any unused funds go into unassigned fund balance for voters to choose to use in the future. Contingency would do the same thing if that money isn't utilized between now and the end of June. Um, it rolls into unassigned fund balance, and then the voters typically use some of that to reduce the property tax burden. Right. You ready to vote, guys? Could right. you just one question? What was the budget item that only had about ten thousand left in it? Contingency. Oh, the contingency. Okay, so in Article 2, I'll see the town vote to appropriate 6500 in coronavirus local fiscal recovery funds received by the town from the federal government for the purpose of repairing the mechanical systems, plumbing, and heating at the town office. All in favor? Do we have to? Yeah, just go all in favor, right? You should have a motion. A motion. Do we have a uh, either, motion? Either recommend or not recommend or approve or disprove or whatever. Do we have a motion? I make a motion that we recommend to approve. Any other questions, session? All right, well, all in favor? All any opposed? And I'm gonna abstain from voting just as a chair okay. unless I need to break a tie. Six, seven, so seven yes, one abstain. Okay. Seems to be the tradition around here. All right, so I guess we recommend to approve. Article three, to see the town will vote to appropriate 2,500 in coronavirus local fiscal recovery funds. Uh, receive a town from the federal government for the purpose of repairing the recreational floats for use at Breezemere Park. Do we have a motion? Make a motion that. I second. I second. Second. Oh, I think, was that Emily or? Emily. Emily. Okay. John just jumped in. Third. <laughs> John third. <laughs> I was third. <laughs> All right. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? We don't. Mm -hmm. All right. We recommend approval. And Article 4 to see the town will vote to appropriate additional sum of $2,941 in coronavirus local fiscal recovery funds received by the town from the federal government for the purpose of resurfacing the tennis courts adjacent to the Lincolnville Central School. We have a motion. I move to approve Article 4. Second. Okay. Discussion? All right. All in favor? And it passes. Excellent. And before you go, not to jump in, Mr. Chair, but I know you're going to seek a motion to adjourn. <laughs> I was going to ask for the discussion first. For the, 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 uh, the finance director informs me that the uh, provider agency request should be back, I believe, this week, and that the budget committee might want to set a meeting to review those then possibly a second meeting if you want to invite any of those agencies in to speak with you. Um, I believe we've had interest from two new um, provider agencies that are circulating petitions to get um, consideration. So you may want to talk to them or I don't want to tell you your business. So. Well, and for the newbies, um, Provider agencies are local, generally, um, how to describe it, Dave? Provider agencies. Provider agencies, human services. <laughs> yes, human services. Um, things like. Um, Nonprofit organizations that serve yeah. our town. Life Flight, Life Flight American um, Red Cross. New Hope for Women. Hadn't been at times, right. not right. currently. Um, Habitat. Yeah. yeah, so they're basically organizations that serve the, serve the town and they request the towns offer a, a sum, they have an amount they request. And the form, the packets they'll review will kind of 
document sort of what to provide to the town, a bunch of their their materials explaining why they're a, a worthwhile agency for us to support. Uh, it's also the one thing that the budget committee actually makes a recommendation on first before the select board. So it makes us feel, you know, gives us something to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think it's, you know, does this Tuesday heating at six o'clock work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's probably no perfect time. As so. long as it's not the second Tuesday, I'm good. All right. Well, what do you think about doing it in two weeks? Will we have everything in? I, I said I this should be, be coming in this week, right. right? I'm gone between the 15th and the 21st. Okay. So somebody else would have to just be the secretary. No, we'll we'll change it so that you'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you think, well, I, I don't, I'm trying to figure out the time frame, but would the 24th be too late? Dave, you think in the general? No. Process. All right. <laughs> so let's do the 24th, and at that point, we'll go over the look at the packets, we'll go over them, and if we have agencies we want to have send a rep, we can then set a time, a future date, to have them come in and present to us and explain, and then we'll call you a vote at that time. Unless we feel on that day that we have all the information we need, we can vote then. But frequently, if there's new people, we want them to come in and explain themselves. Yep. Um, all right. So what if we do the 24th at 6 p.m.? And when, we, if you happen to be by the town office between now and the 20, or between Monday of next week and the 24th, we will have packets available right. for people that will have their information, um, all the applications from them. It's definitely really helpful information to review ahead of time if you can. Mm -hmm. so I always forget to get it. <laughs> speed, speeds up your meetings. <laughs> it can be thick. Okay. Do we have any other business to discuss? All right, I will, I will accept the motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor. Fantastic, guys. Thank you all. I'm going to go right. probably make supper. I, I had everything all ready.